Hi guys, welcome back. I am excited for these guys. They're gonna tear apart their first dirt bike today. This is a 2018 Beta 125. As you can see, Lex is getting pretty big and he's outgrown his KX100. So over the next month or two, we're gonna tear this thing down and rebuild it. It does need a motor. So the bike came in over the weekend and a customer brought it in because it was locked up. It turns over and it'll start, but the crank is not good, which we'll show you later in the video. So these boys today are gonna to tear apart their first dirt bike. We'll kind of give you a preview. What's kind of funny is this was an original three C's bike. It was Dini Fortner's bike originally, and he won the 200A title on this thing in the New York series. And it's had like five or six owners since then. And the most recent one uh, locked her up. Dini actually painted this thing all pink for a breast cancer awareness race. So the boys are gonna have some scrubbing to do to get this pinkness off of it. I'll put a picture in here now of, of how pink this thing really was. And it's like the original tire that Danny left on it. Um, so aside from the motor, my initial thoughts are obviously a new tube and tire in the back. The chain and sprockets look really good. The brake pads are okay. And even the rotor is not too worn. Um, it is pretty cool that it has the um, rear rotor guard already on it. It has a nice Enduro Engineering skid plate with the linkage guard. Um, oh, this bike has a lowering kit, which we'll talk about in a minute. It's got the CMCO hose kit. It does have a nice front tire though. I think we'll be able to leave that on there for him. Front wheel bearings feel pretty good. Front brake pads are good. Does have the hand guards, which are nice. We like these moose ones, we'll leave those on. It's got the number plate already, so that's pretty cool. Obviously gonna get rid of this gas gas bar pad. The controls though, I think we can clean that up. Um, oh, the dual ignition map, will wipe that right off the bike. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, Braxton, let's talk about this. Braxton did a pit bike race yesterday, and you got what? Second. In the? Um, youth class. And you should have gotten what? First, but the <laughs> bike wouldn't freaking accelerate. Yeah. I'm like wide open, and this kid is just right next to me. And I'm in like third, and he just like put it right next to me. I'm like, what? So we'll see if uh, I had the footage in, uh, no, in your GoPro. So, Not that race. You won, you won two races, right? Right. And then the, the main event, you got second. Yeah, it's all good. And then they gave you, oh, thanks to Adam for taking you. Want to say oh, that? Oh, yeah, thank you for Adam. He I had to work at the shop. Really it was a early. Saturday race, so Adam came, picked him up at 7 o'clock. They went to the race all day. They got home at, like, what, like 8 o'clock last night? Yeah. Yeah, Supercross has already started. And then let's just look this bike over a little bit more. Oh, yeah, want to show us what you got? T-Bolt gave us. Tools, there's stickers, there's a drink holder. This goes, like, around your brake. Like oh. pit bike so it doesn't go too low or something. Yep. Adam's a brake snake. Uh, and then um, you also raced the beginner class, but it was like a bunch of adults on like big bikes, right? Yeah. And you got like eight, of eight out of. Probably eight to about like ten. They don't really give me results. But That's I'm okay. Just guessing because eight out of ten with all the adults and bigger bikes. Or twelve. And we should note that your bike is a hundred percent stock TTR one ten that needs a bunch of work. Um, there is an hour meter on this thing. It says 11 hours. That's totally not true. So not sure. Maybe the previous owner put that on. She might have done that. So maybe 11 hours from her ride time. Um, other than that, though, all we got to do is split this motor and see what's going on with it. I'll put a little video in here of me starting it outside. So we'll give you guys a tally at the end of what we have in it. So I've got a thousand bucks in it now, the way it sits. And the customer is gonna give us the parts back to make it. It's got a lowering kit in it. So let's pull this off here, guys, and we'll show how low it really sits. Um, here, you can hold on to that, Braxton. Pull it off here. And it's considerably lower than a standard bike. Like, why don't you let it sit on here? So you're 14 or 15? 15. You're 15 now? All right. So there's, there's a not horrible but we're gonna raise it because you're a better rider than that we don't need it to be lowered so um suspension's gonna come off get sent out um we have a friend locally that does it i'll give him all the parts we'll get that stuff freshened up i'll probably have so i'm gonna give you a guesstimate we have a thousand in it i'm gonna guess 500 bucks in suspension and then we'll have like a green in the motor so if we can end up with like a beta 125 for him for like 2500 bucks i think that's what we can sell us kx 100 for and then we're gonna blow these plastics off of it. We're gonna do nice red beta plastics with some three C's graphics. So I'm guessing 2,500 and we'll let you know when we're done.
Okay, so the boys got the bike up on the lift. I'm gonna give them this big table. They're gonna start pulling stuff off. They're gonna lay it all out. These are some of the tools I was working on my bike a minute ago that they might need. So the plan is guys, um, seat, plastics, exhaust has gotta come off. These frame guards gotta come off. The skid plate's gotta come off the bottom. We can't take the swing arm off until we get a stain underneath the middle because that's gotta come out for the motor. But these plastics, the gas tank, the front fender, the number plate, all the stuff on the handlebars can stay. We'll just clean all, oh, cut this off of there with the zip tie cutters. Um, I'll help you drain coolant in a minute. So start working on plastics and seat and then I'll teach you guys the motor mount bolts. We'll go from there. All right. Got to get it past the hook. Yep, kind of wiggle back. There you oh, go. Way easier, huh? Yeah. So the gas is already off. So take your, take your pliers and pinch that and slide it up the hose. Uphill. Okay. Yeah, you can use both hands. So now it's past the, okay. So I would lay the paper towel up in here because you can have gas sprinkling out. And then grab that flathead. And, yep. Kind of just take the flathead, yeah, go straight in and then just rock it side to side. No, it's not working. No, this gas line's probably been on there for a considerable amount of time. You're already pulling it up. You're gonna get some gas there. Welcome to being a mechanic. Get more, get more. Leave it up. <laughs> the gas should be get on. Get more paper towels, Lex. Like it's it. fine, it's fine. Oh, it's so here, Lex, finger. grab this. Okay, Watch. so now we're gonna take this. Pick the gas tank right up off of there. Pick it up. Yep, so get, yeah, get one hand up. Yeah, however you wanna do it. Gas. Watch out. It's so, once you guys work together, <laughs> work together and go right outside. Open the door for him. Back in it. That was like. So here's the trick. It's probably not gonna. So go ahead and pull that bolt out. You get a little crush washer, save that. Set that right on the thing. Okay, now tip that can up. It's like pretend it's gonna squirt yeah, out yeah, faster. Like this? All right, Braxton, go ahead and crack that loose up there. Hey, is he even coming loose? <laughs> it's gonna drain for a while, so take the cap completely off. Sorry. And then now just give it a while, it's gonna drain out. So here, it's right. yeah, yep. it's going that way. So get it up on there. Hold, hold the inside of it real quick. Hmm? Put, just put your hand right here. Ready? One, two, three. This one's tight. The hell? Someone really tight. This one's got a slip. Here, you hold the camera. I better practice this. Someone's got it really tight. This has got a ton of torque on it. So, Jeez. all right, you're gonna get your hands oily, not me. So go ahead and hold on to that. Hand closed. Just unspin it. Spin it by hand. Get your hands on there. Oh, I think it's under. What the? Which way? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was oh, going that way. Get it back up on there a little bit more. There you go. Come on. I'm there. I'm dropping the ball. You're going to know. No. You're going <laughs> to. Then you're going to be digging it up. You're oh. going to know when you're close. You'll feel it. And then get one hand away and then rock the drain bolt out. Like kind of like chip it out with a socket. Well, just leave the socket on it. No. Because I can just go quick. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, Alright, so that's pretty never clutch. been changed in a while. Look at all that clutch debris. Yeah, that's pretty dirty. I'm glad we're uh, get get a hip towel over here. Oh, okay. We'll get it cleaned up. This is gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. It's not even scratching anything. Yep. Good luck. Alright, so we just got the bike back inside. The boys washed it. I helped a little bit trying to get it cleaned up. There's just a lot of years of gunk up in here, so. We'll end up getting the suspension out of it. That'll get cleaned up separate, but I wanted the motor somewhat clean. Probably got a little bit of water up in there, but that's okay, because it's all coming apart here in a minute. Keep pulling on it. It's it's just old. It's been in there. There you go. Keep pulling. All the way out. It's going to get heavy. Ready? No. Roll, roll the wheel. You got to push the wheel forward to get the chain loose. Now roll the chain off of it. Oh, it's going to off. Start up here, pull it back, and roll it off the side. Okay, and then now together, hold. yep, there you go. Just get it right out of the way. It's on. Okay, so now your swing arm is free from there. So go ahead and keep hit, uh, hitting over there, Braxton. Punch that through. And then like, see that there? You're gonna just pull out on that chest. There it is. Okay. So come back here and grab the swing arm. I'll put this. Just set it on the ground there for a second. Yeah, I the 
Nope. No, so now you guys should be able to pull that out, pull out on it. Let's get the chain off of here. Uh, just set it on the ground over there. Just set it right over here on the ground. So we're gonna leave this cover together because it's already all bled. So let's pop it off now. There you go. And some oil might come out, so tip it up. It's like slimy oil, huh? Go ahead and set it right up on top of this um, motor up there, right under the frame. Heck yeah. That oil is like two years old or 40 years old. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it cleaned up. So next thing is pulling the motor out. Watch out, it's getting oil. Okay, we'll clean the floor real quick. Okay, we'll I'm gonna it. You're doing the right thing. I didn't crack them that loose for you, so you might have to put the wrench back on there. That's your rad valve. So this is where gas comes into the carburetor and then it goes through this and it disperses into the motor. Yep. You wanna look for cracks on here. Because if these are cracked, they won't work right. But these pedals look pretty good still. I don't see any major cracks in there, so we'll clean these up, but who knows how, ooh, we gotta clean them up pretty good. You can wipe some of that dirt off there. Yep. Braxton's getting the head bolts off. You can rock it back and forth. There you go. Nice. So now there's the center dome. So now we gotta tip that to sleep it upside down. Now pop that one out. Let's look at that piston. It's like so sits on there. Let's spin this real quick. And if we spin this clutch, we can look down in there. Hopefully the cylinder is okay. That would be the ultimate goal. I don't have to get it replated, but we'll find out in a minute. Try to like pop that cylinder, like hit on it and see if you can't get the rocket loose. And it's still stuck pretty good. Mm. Not a bit. No, let me just hold on to the motor, hold it still. Okay. Hit something. Okay, so go ahead and pull it off there, boys. The big reveal. <laughs> How long is it going to take to fix? So, tip it upside down. Let's see inside of here. We'll have to let Grandpa look at it, but man, that looks really clean. The cylinder looks really good. It's not all, nothing scarred up on it at all. Yeah, this is... There's some dirt down in there from me pressure washing it, like I said there would be. Should we put this with this? Right Feels great. Yeah, so... Piston looks really good too. I mean, we're not reusing it, but looks that really must good. Be inside. So let's spin this. Why'd you do that? Pull up on that piston. Oh yeah, the crank won't even spin over. So the the main bearings are what's or the the bottom rod bearing is what the problem is. You can feel. Normally, I would be able to spin this over, and the and the crank would spin. I'll show you when we get it apart. How long does it take to get a bottom rod bearing? <laughs> Not very long. All right, let's get this thing apart. There you go. There you go. It feels better. So go until it kind of bottoms out. All right. Then now screw this down by hand. Is it already tapped out? Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, it's already down far enough. Okay, so now we'll screw that down. And then now, and this is the thing. It. It's already in reverse? Yep. No, it's already perfect. Go ahead. Keep going. Good job. Good job. Yep. Nope, that's, you're good. Pull it up. Yep, pull it up. Sweet, good job. Mm -hmm. All right, what little piece did you guys just find inside there? So we don't know, I think that's more of like a trans, yeah, there you go. More of like a transmission gear. But if you look here, this is the kickstart idler gear. We're missing a chunk out of that. It's kind of funny, and eh, that's not the right mm -hmm. spot. But like, that would still work, just feel notchy. And then this is the, the main bearing, uh, I went to go zing it off and it's already loose, like I didn't even touch it yet. So that's already loose. And then now this is spinning more free, right? We're actually gonna shake this piston up and down so we can see now go this way, in and out, go up and down with it. Man, look at that thing down there. That has a ton of play in it. It's incredible. That bearing's completely gone in the middle there. So now we're gonna split the case. All right, let's come over here. Go ahead and pick that up yep. off there. Yep. Go slow with it. Yep. And then, and then flip it over. Yep. And, and so, yep. So we're in this headlight right here. So we've got a chunk of something here. I'm really just more concerned about where those metal chunks came from. 
They don't look like in there. Nothing in there. Main bearing still spins. Let's uh, pull this gasket off. And I don't know if this cranks. Oh, it does come right out. Cool. So this is what failed. There's this bearing down in here. I was hoping that metal thing came out of here. But that's the bearing that failed right there. If it's making all the noise. And then this, that noise, like the clattery noise, was the actual rod smacking off the bottom of here. So, it was whacking off here. You can see where it was hitting on the bottoms. So, I'm going to spend some time. So, um, it's gonna, let's show the counter back up a little bit. So, Lex's bike is all sprawled out. The boys are going to spend the next couple weeks. They'll pick a piece and they'll scrub it a little bit, get everything cleaned up. We got the motor split. Come on over here, Brax. Let's check out the bike. Um, there's a couple spots in this harness that are almost rubbed through. It might be the other piece. So I'm going to spend some time kind of rewiring stuff. And then the boys are going to have to clean all this up. And then they'll have to grease all the linkage. The linkage still, nah, it's kind of shot. Come on in here, Braxton. You can kind of see that the linkage is super shot. So they make rebuild kits. So they spend the night rebuilding the linkage. What do you think, Lex? Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of work, but... I think it's an easy way to get you a bike buddy. So, for sure. This is where we're at. So part two, I'm gonna order a bunch of parts and start putting them back together. All right, so the boys are out riding pit bikes. I've been going through cleaning up some of this motor stuff. Obviously earlier we noticed this idler gear for the starter was missing stuff. And that really beat up the inside of this case pretty good, but there's no holes or anything. It's all right. And I had also found this little guy and I knew it was part of the transmission, so. You can see right here, it's that gear missing everything off of it. So got to order a couple of gears. And then um, this gear is kind of beat up too. You can see like where stuff was chunking off of it. So not sure what I'll do with that one. And then obviously the, the main bearing is junk, but then you can look right here. Part of that piston got chunked off there as well. So um, it's funny, the cylinder still looks really good. So. We'll decide what we're gonna do. Doesn't look like a ton of stuff, just a couple gears, and obviously your normal bottom end and top end rebuild. So with any luck, and then there's just little things like radiators are pretty smashed up and they're kind of epoxied back together. All of this stuff just needs a bunch of TLC. You'll try to get some more of this pink paint back off of here. It comes off pretty easy in some spots, so it's just a matter of figuring it out. Definitely needs full linkage, so we gotta get that coming. Swing arm needs a ton of love, and so does the rear wheel and stuff. So definitely have two or three weeks worth of work to do, but we'll get after it. 